to another episode of Kamado Turk Barbecue. Um, today we're going to be cooking on the Jota 3. This is the first time I'm going to be using it. I've never used it before. It's all a learning curve, but from my last four cooks that I've done with Kamado Joe, Big Joe, um, I've learned quite a lot of things. So, um, it's all about air control and about heating up your ceramics. What I was doing was, I was jumping on to cook the food too early within heating up process. So what I've realized is, you've really got to get your Kamado Joe heated up between 20 to 30 to 40 minutes so that all of that heat is inside the dome. And remember, you've got radiant heat. So once you heat it up, you should be able to control it. So what they say is, heat up your Kamado slowly. Start off slow, air vents, you know, normal. And then once you kind of get to that 20, 30 minute mark, whack open the air, really get that temperature up if you want to go high um, and fast. Now in today's cook, I'm going to do a two hour smoke um, and then the next, so two hour smoke, which is the lower end. So, so the two hour smoke, which, which is the lower end of uh, the temperatures in the Kamado Joe. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna check it out, put a probe in, and then uh, check the internal temperature so that we are at that point where we're not too overly cooked. Um, internal temperature of chicken, 79 degrees Celsius. Very, very important. Chicken, you cannot mess about with. You can't have rare chicken, okay? Just forget about it. So, um, slow, low temperatures. Smoke it in, really get it in. I've got some apple chip um, wood. I am working on it. I've got my tree surgeon. Hopefully, he's going to be sending over some nice cherry, um, cherry uh, wood, nice hardwood to smoke my my food with. Also, going to get some oak as well. Um, I don't think we have hickory around here. I, I need to find out. Anyway, so um, two hours smoking, and then the, and then I want to do one hour of around 200 degrees Celsius, which is around 400 Fahrenheit. Um, on the rotisserie, remember that. Okay, so it's all brand new to me. Um, okay, so let's let's get over here. Let's let's start marinating. So keeping it very very simple. Okay, um, full chicken, big chicken. Don't actually need to do anything to this. Um, extra large. So it's got a big breast here. Um, I'm not going to spatchcock it because it's going to go in. All of this is going to go into the rotisserie. So actually, what we should do is move it into a pan so we don't um, so we don't lose any of that marinade. I don't even need a knife; it's just a habit. Okay, so oh, I always like to just do a bit of olive oil beforehand, and that basically just keeps um, all of that nice spices on there. So high as possible, really get it in there. I like a lot of garlic. Garlic granules are the mate are, are the one. Mate, I use it on literally everything. Um, paprika again you can just go quite high. Oops. Really get lots of it. Okay, I'm gonna chuck in some thyme today. Okay, like that. And absolutely fell in love with this. This is um, some nice um, Cornish sea salt. Get the bricks in. Drizzle some more, olive oil, okay, let's see if we can get that camera a bit down, let's see what's going on, okay, really rub it in, really rub it in, 
Oh. Oh. It's like bathing a little little baby, look. <laughs> it's really, 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 really. Those nice little bits in. Okay, do you know what I might do as well? I might put a lemon in there, in the cavity. That's something I usually do for roasting in the oven, um, which I think should work then really well. And that'll keep the moisture in. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get a nice lemon, pierce it a few times, put it in the cavity. Um, and then yeah, and this, is, this should be perfect. It's not, it's not hard at all, anyone can do this. But today's thing is all about the Jotisserie. Okay, I've, I've decided to take this to another level now. I'm gonna stuff a whole garlic in there. So, got found some in, the, in there. So, I don't even know if I should just put it, the whole thing in there or not. Shall I do that? No, let's not do that. Let's just get a few. Right, and this is the, the lemon, so let's do a little, little rub, get those juices really flowing inside. Um, multiple holes. And this is gonna help that moisture so it doesn't dry out while we're cooking. Okay. Usually I'll get some like uh, like rosemary or some thyme and stick it in there as well. Okay, so now this is at that point where I let it sit for a bit with that marinade um, so it, it just absorbs it absorbs that, that flavoring. So let's give it a little smell. Yeah, smells good. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set up the Joe and um, we'll start cooking. Taste test, I'm telling you. Oh. oh, man, that is good. <laughs> 